Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of Universe Jarvis. So thanks for joining me. I'm actually trying out a different camera. So this is actually my Pixel 6 Pro. I think it's a 6. I haven't really used it yet, but the quality actually looks really nice. The lighting. But anyway, so this is a kind of quick impromptu. And hopefully you guys have been kind of keeping up with everything. So I did a spray ground video. I uploaded it, I want to say maybe yesterday. I got a new Teddy. Their site is down right now. So hopefully it'll open up, I think, around 9 Eastern. I'm going to get back on and I may get a couple more. But anyhow, so this video is an outing and <laughs> getting stuff that I don't necessarily need, which is a lot of what I do sometimes, or a lot of the times, whatever the case may be. But anybody that's watched my channel, watched my videos, you guys know that I love a deal. I'm all about a deal. And in fact, before I get into this stuff, I'm going to grab something real quick and show you guys something that I got yesterday. So hang on. So I've not really done a lot of videos with <laughs> my extremely massive shoe collection, although it's probably small by other people's standards. I've probably got well over 100 pairs now, which maybe that's something we'll venture into at some point. Probably going to have to break that apart because it's going to be a lot of shoes to go over. But anyhow, so I was out about yesterday, went to dinner, and I there's a Foot Locker that I typically go to in one of the malls near here. And I went in there and found these guys. So... I'm a croc connoisseur, and I tend to like the ones that come with all the gibbets, gibbets and stuff like that. So I actually found these. So these are the High Life ones. I'll bring them a little bit closer. So they're really freaking awesome. So you've got all your little fun bits and bobbles on there. And they actually come with all of this and then, of course, Half Bake. I probably said High Life. These are Half Bake. What am I talking about? So I got the little tie-dye thing. Now, I'm a little skeptical about tie-dye because I had some of the regular Crocs tie-dyes and a lot of the stuff peeled off, but hopefully these aren't like that. So these, this is a collab piece that Crocs tends to do, which I'll actually get into probably some of my Bimberry ones at some point, like I was saying earlier, but these guys were only $45 and they're actually on sale online right now too. You can find them. Foot Locker, I think Champ Sports was the other side and they're actually affiliated, but I got these for like 48 bucks with tax. I actually wore them out today, so they're a lot of fun. And they've also got that right there on the side. So that's pretty cool. So thought I'd share those with you, but the piece de resistance, what I kind of want to show you. So went out to the outlets a little bit ago and just kind of wandered around. It's super, super busy because school's going to be starting back here pretty soon, if not like Monday. I don't know. It's all over. I don't have kids, so I don't know. But <laughs> went out to a couple stores and actually went into Nike. Just was kind of went in there to browse around and actually ended up leaving with some stuff. That line was re freaking ridiculous. I will tell you guys that it was freaking insane. Luckily, they had someone kind of just checking out, you know, with the little reader or whatever, so was able to get out there quicker. But the line literally went from the registers, wrapped all the way around, and it was actually going back to the back of the store. But they're having a really good sale right now. They've got most things, if it's like on sale, it's whatever the price is, like what I'm about to show you guys, they were $79.99, then got an additional 20% off, which isn't bad at all. So. I'm gonna start with a bigger pair. Now, these are gonna kind of be clones of each other, if you will, but these aren't mine. <laughs> these are for the other half, so let's go in here close. We got some forces, but let's see what the forces look like. So, couldn't pass this up, had to kind of get these. So, these aren't mine, so these are the halves. So, these are mids, and I know a lot of people don't really like the mid Jordans, but I don't think they're terrible. I mean, they're not necessarily a deal breaker. Most of the time with most Nikes, like, I like for instance, the Dunk Mid, people don't really buy that that often. So, these are the Air Force One Mids QS, not really sure what that is. They are white, total orange, and oil green, but for like 60 bucks, can't really beat that. It's a nice, solid shoe. They run weird. Like I said, these aren't mine. I'll show you my guys mine. They're the exact same shoe. Jordans are odd as far as the fit goes. So a lot of my Nikes I'll do, well if it's Hirachi I'll do an 11 just to give myself enough space because those run super small but super fitted and they're a sock shoe. I've got these, I have a pair of 10s, I have to just do a thin sock, but these are actually a 14, you guys can kind of tell, we'll see size comparison, so the other bag here. Now, so <laughs> even the box is a lot smaller. I was almost about to go, just so you can kind of see the size of pair, a 10 and a half versus a 14, which the 15 was actually too big for the other half, so we ended up going down to a 14. But I ended up just doing a 10 and a half. 
I tried on a 10, they fit okay. I've got space in the toe box here, but that's fine because if I want to do a thicker sock when it gets colder or something like that, I can do it. But I mean, couldn't pass it up. I mean, these are actually pretty nice. I'll come in a lot closer. So the green there has some texture to it, which I think is super nice. All of it is, it's actually a really beautiful shoe. I really couldn't leave it. And then the bottom's a different color. So I had to go for that. But both pairs of these were $135 with tax. These retail brand new for $155. So, don't know when you guys are watching this, but if you can't get to a Nike outlet, for sure. The one that I went to at the uh, premium outlets here actually usually has a lot of cool stuff. I've actually got a good bit of shoes out of there for a really decent price. And just never know. I mean, you just kind of have to go in, just kind of stumbled upon it. And I kind of figured they'd be having a kind of back-to-school situation. So, that was a great find, for sure. Then we ended up going into the van store. I actually wanted to look at some stuff. Um, I'm going to actually probably start trying to... I do... Do some reselling and stuff, you guys. If you watch my spray ground stuff, I do resell a lot of my spray ground stuff if it sings. And most of these pieces I don't even really carry. They're more to collect. I've got some of my teddies that I'll probably be putting up, so stay tuned for that. But I'm going to start including the link to the, the stop shop on eBay for everybody, as well as probably my main website. So when in vans, just kind of browsing around. And I'll actually start with these first. So these are actually, these are going to be a gift for some back to school type stuff so these are actually the same one's an eight and I think one's a nine these are just some slip-ons the classic slip-ons it's got a nice little paisley pattern on it so these were $24.95 and the Vans outlet and I think all of them pretty much do this you buy a pair you get a pair half price so both pairs of these like I said they're identical same shoe just a different size both pairs of these were 40 bucks with tax can't beat that great back to school and this is probably a staple with Vans, a slip-on. I have a couple. I tend to like the lace-ups. I like the AVEs. The um, Skate High is one that I really, really enjoy. You kind of With Vans, you kind of have to learn the fit and what feels good on your foot. I tend to like the AVEs or the, um, oh, what's the other one's called? I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. But they're, they're very similar in fit, and they're very comfortable. They're kind of like a, I don't know, more athletic, even though these are skater shoes. Those are a little bit more comfortable. So got those, and there was actually a lunchbox that I wanted to get. I didn't end up getting the lunchbox, probably won't really worry about it, but they did have these. So these are fun. We've got some nice Rasta colors. These actually match what I have on. I'll probably end up wearing these out tomorrow. So these were $19.95 marked down. So it was buy a pair, get a pair, half, all the shoes. And accessories are the same, but you have to match an accessory with an accessory, apparently. And then I got these red ones. So got both pairs of these. And this is a pretty cool red, actually. Kind of more of a burgundy. I actually think I have a Vans bag that'll match this. But these are really, really comfy. So they're a little bit more fitted than say like a Nike slide, like a, a Benassi like I have on. Although I'm kind of getting to the point with my Benassi's, I don't know if I really like them anymore because that texture on the bottom is kind of starting to bug me a little bit. But these are kind of cool because they're nice and smooth. And when I say it's a more fitted of a shoe, like literally this is a 10, my foot pretty much takes up this whole space. And they'll stretch out, but you know, to me, versus something like like having this on my foot, you know, there's a little bit more of a gap. But these actually feel really, really good. And I couldn't pass these up. And this pair, I absolutely love to death. This pair is cool, too. I've probably got now, I don't know, maybe four or five pairs of these. I have a cult pair that I got, I think, sometime last year. But definitely check out, these are, are these the Lacostas? Yeah, these are the Lacosta ones, which is what they call pretty much all their slides. Although there's another one that was a slightly different style, but they're pretty much all the same. So, 30 bucks. Can't beat it. That's pretty much it for this video. Now, if you haven't done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, thumbs up, and comment. Now, I don't always get the notifications through the YouTube Studio app, so I may be slow responding sometimes, but I do see I have a couple comments on a couple of videos, and I'll get back to you guys about those. Appreciate all the support, as always. I do this because I like to share my world, the things I like. The shop need to get better about it. But, one day, right? Don't forget to check out the links that I include below to the eBay shop as well as to my main website. I've got to kind of work on that a little bit because I need to get some more stuff made because I make jewelry do tons of stuff. That's why it's called Universe Jarvis. It's a lot of different things. But anyhow, until next time, Universe Jarvis out.